Hey folks, and welcome to my thoughts on a book. And today's book is The Wizards of Wands. This is the first book in the Wizards of Wands. I'm not sure if trilogy or series. Uh, written and illustrated by Cressida Cowell. I hope that's how you pronounce that. If not, my apologies. Now, uh, there will be spoilers. Also, this is the uh, Hebrew translation translated by uh, by Yael Achmon. I will leave that as usual in the description down below. All right, so this is actually a fantasy series by the lady who wrote uh, How to Train Your Dragon, which I didn't even know was first books. I really want to read that. Also, I think this lady's not, uh, you know, uh, uh, born somewhere with the... Uh... Anyway, I, the, the books aren't originally in English, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I think they're not even originally in English. So I think if I... I will continue on to the next one with this series, but I'll look for the English book. Because this is really... I think it'll be better to read in English. Right, so anyway, let's get to the series. Alright, so this is a fantasy series that we have the usual things with magic. Now, we have two main camps in the story. We have the warriors and... We'll call them the magicians since, uh, again, this is the Hebrew translation, so I'm not sure. So the magicians and the uh, warriors are uh, in, in fighting. The warriors want to destroy, you know, all the all magic creatures because thousands of years, not thousands, hundreds of years ago when they first, years ago when they first came to the land where they are, they were uh, wizards. Now the wizards are very, very evil, nasty creatures. And uh, supposedly, hundreds of years ago, the um, I think it was both the warriors and the, and the magicians defeated them. But since then, the warriors got very, you know, hateful and fearful and suspicious of magic. So they, since then, been trying to uh, kill and get rid of all magic. Now we go forward uh, these few uh, hundreds of years to our time now, and supposedly the magicians, you know, again... They don't no longer exist. Now, on the same night, we have two children, one child of each camp. Now, from the warrior camp, we have uh, her. Her name's actually Wish, which I, which I thought might not be. So it's uh, her name is Wish. She's a princess. She's the daughter of the Queen of Warriors, a very tough and uh, cunning queen. Now she finds a, uh, I'm just gonna call it a spoon, I didn't check what that word is in English. I mean, it's a spoon, but it's, it has a different name. I don't know. So anyway, the spoon, she finds a magic spoon and also a magical sword that her mother had in her possession somehow came to Wish. Now Wish wants to take the, uh, the spoon to the forest so it will be safe because if her mother finds it, She'll take it down below and take away the spoon's magic. She has a special stone that sucks the magic out of magical things and creatures. So she goes out with the assistant to the bodyguard, uh, Budkin. He's uh, about her age. And he's supposed to watch her and, uh, you know, make sure not, no harm comes to her. And he's also, it's, it's kind of like double D for Meta and Nettie, with the nervousness for rules and uh, fainting, uh, fainting, I mean. So they go out, you know, he doesn't have a choice, he has to follow the princess wherever she goes. So they manage to get out of the fortress, which, well, it's, it's a hard fortress to get into, but somehow they manage to get out. Now, that same night, we have the child from the second, from the magician camp. Uh, XR? I, I don't know, it's X-A-R. I hope that's how you pronounce that. We have XR. Now, he's the son of the leader of the magicians. And his father is a great and powerful magician. 
Now, Xar hasn't yet had his powers. He's 13, but his powers have not yet come about. And he's a very, he's a very energetic, he's, he's this energetic, very arrogant, you know, full of himself kind of, kind of boy. And he's, he's not very happy and his brother is making fun of him. You know, how brothers are in these books. So he wants to obtain magic by capturing a wizard, which is uh, extremely illegal, by the way. Now, not illegal, but coming in contact with anything wizard, ooh, you're screwed. So he goes out with his... Now, in here, magician, the magicians have... Um, he has several, like, big, big cats, but, you know, predator kind of cats. He has these little fairies. Furry fairies, we're going to call them, because I don't know how you'd say them in English. And he has Calibran, if that's how you pronounce his name, who's a very smart crow that his father gave him, so he would advise him. And we have Ariel, who's a different kind of fairy. So anyway, every magician has that kind of like um, entourage with them. So uh, Exar goes that night with his entourage and some other magician children to try to capture a wizard and take its powers. But wh while he does that, he comes across his brother who, well, you know, screws up his plan. The, the, most everyone just, you know, run away with his brother. Oh, and they also have uh, giants as well. So he has a giant. Now, uh, a, a dark magician, a magician, sorry, a wizard does appear. The wizards are coming back. But instead of actually capturing a wizard, XR captures um, Wish and Butkin. Because they themselves have uh, almost come across a magician, uh, sorry, a wizard. And they began to, to run away on uh, Wish's horse. So they, so they all met that night. And things got even more complicated from then. So Zar, XR takes them back to his, uh, to his uh, home tree. Actually, really cool, they live in trees. Home trees and keeps them there and takes, uh, and he takes away, uh, Wishes a special magical sword and goes to uh, face his brother in a spell contest. Now that doesn't work out well as well either. Um, Xar is almost about to beat his brother with the sword, but then the sword uh, goes away from him and goes back to Wish while she's in his room. It says a special magical sword. It has a uh, a mind of its own. So, uh, well, with all the commotion downstairs, uh, Sar's father comes. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his name either. Wait. Eh, bloody cards. So he, he comes and uh, his older brother tells him what uh, Sar has attempted to do. His father is very angry at him, and Zari yells back. Zari yells back at him, telling him, you, "You know, you're not doing anything. We're hiding here while the warriors are destroying us." Anyway, a big fight. Uh, his father sends him to his room, where 15 minutes prior to that, a wizard actually came into his room, which is why the sword has left his hands because it came to wishes. Uh, defense. Wish takes the sword and manages to kill the uh, evil wizard. Mind you, they're not actually people here, they're, they're sort of these creatures. Die again with the cars. But uh, during this, uh, I mean, but before that, Xar got a bit of a... Uh, bloody hell. All right, he's fast. Xar got a bit of wizard blood, what looked to be wizard blood, and was in fact wizard blood on his hand, which is really, really not good. 
really really not good and because of this uh, attack now uh, I after wish killed the the wizard he a bit of uh, a bit of the wizard's blood got on one of Zar's um, furry fairies and now he is uh, now he's going to die now uh, straight after all that happens this is the moment where uh, Exar is thrown into his room, and uh, he gets told all that. And he's very upset and, and devastated and feels guilty because now his uh, precious little uh, furry fairy is going to die if he doesn't save him. So uh, the wish this uh, you know wants to help them, so they devise a plan. They'll go to the fortress. And they will sneak inside and take uh, the little fairy to the stone that uh, sucks magic. And that way it will suck away the evil magic and also will suck away the evil magic from XR. So they all leave, they go there. <coughs> Sorry, but it proves to be very difficult to break into the fortress, but they do manage. But they get caught. I wish, you know, just uh, yells uh, for someone to come help so they wouldn't, uh, you know, so they wouldn't suspect that she, she and Butkin brought them in. Uh, Xar gets captured, and so does his entourage. I wish takes the sword away from him so uh, her mother won't find it on him. His, uh, her mother makes a deal with him. You know, if you, uh, if you tell me where my sword is, I'll let you take your, uh, your fairy to the stone and heal him. But of course she's lying and now she's just going to keep Xard there and use him uh, for ransom and make, her, and make his father come there and get all the magic sucked out of him in order to get Zar, Xar back safe. Naturally, I did say she's a very cunning queen. So, Xar gets taken down to the dungeons. But uh, Wish and Butkin still come uh, to save him. Uh, Wish has a conversation with her mother, during which the key, her mother's key to the dungeon, mysteriously gets untied from her skirt, and Wish takes it. So they go down, they help Zar uh, get out of there, but he actually, the queen comes to him one last time, you know, to ask him if he still wants to make a deal before it's too late, and uh, Xar uh, tells her, you know, get in, prior to that, Butkin and Wish have released his animals, <clears throat> so now he has, uh, now the queen can't do anything because she came there by herself. Now Zara, like Zara tells her, you know, if you, uh, if you tell me the secret password to the secret way out of here, apparently the queen has a secret way out of the fortress. She has heads of people and creatures there. She has magical books. It's a whole lot of interesting stuff. So uh, uh, Zara gets her to give him all that and give, her, give him her cape. As well, and then he gets out of there without the intention of actually giving her the sword. And he locks her in the cell she put him in. All the gang goes to the to the stone. They manage to cure the little fairy. Zar gets the green blood stain removed. But that's when things get even worse. I have to excuse my voice today. Got a bit of a cold and the bloody summer. Anyway, apparently this stone is actually the Wizard King. A Wizard King that has been in prison there from the, from the war that they had. And since then, it looks like he's been influencing the Queen to bring him magical creatures to steal their magic. Even more shocking is that we find out that uh, Wish it actually was born with powers. Not just powers, she has special magical powers. She has powers that can work with metal, with iron, I mean. 
So, the, obviously, the evil wizard king wants that power to himself, because then he would be able to fight the warriors as well. Their iron would no longer work on him. So, he tries to suck her magic. She gets stuck to the, to the stone. She can't, uh, she can't move from it. They try to, you know, get her unattached from it. Uh, Wish tries to do something, although she's terrified. And then Zar grabs the sword and just sticks it into the stone. And passes through, and for a second they think, Ah, he's dead now. But then the evil wizard gets out of there. And uh, goes to Wish. He wants to, well, take her power still. But Zar and his cat jump on him. And then he's about to kill them, but Wish, uh, her eye patch falls, and we see that she also has a special magical eye. Also, apparently she has uh, more than one life. Uh... Anyway, she can live many lives. It's impossible to tell how many. So, uh, Wish um, uh, the, uses her eye somehow. And kills the uh, evil wizard king. <clears throat> but before they can rejoice, it looks like uh, the king also killed Wish herself. But then, suddenly Wish reappears. She's okay again, more or less, after you've been disintegrated. And then the gang all uh, leave the... Uh, well, not all of them. Anyway, they all collect themselves. Zar releases the rest of the creatures that are down there that the queen has <clears throat> has been catching over the years. And they all uh, together go through the secret passage. They say goodbye to Wish and Budkin. Kali Brown the Crow, uh, you know, warns her, you know, you need to hide your magic. Here, take Zar's spell book. You need to learn things. So they leave. They leave Zara pretend, Xar pretends to be a queen, uh, the queen, and he's believed. It looks like the queen gets out a lot with magical creatures because the guards that guard this door don't find that strange at all. Very curious. So Zar leaves, goes back home. His dad's happy to see him, but you know they'll still have a talk about everything that happened. And it looks like Zara still kept some of the powers of that um, wizard's blood. Which the crow is very upset about. Poor Calibran, he's stuck with him until he learns to be a good boy. That'll take a long time. Uh, Wish has a conversation with her mother. It looks like her mom uh, will never look at her, you know, simply again. Uh, so apparently she has, she's a seventh daughter. The queen has many more daughters. Interesting. And so for now, that is uh, the end adventure for our heroes. With the, with the wizard, who is, by the way, alive. He hasn't been killed. He apparently also has many lives. So now is left to see what happens next. Will the wizard attack? What is he planning? What will the children do? Oops, sorry about that. Yeah, so that is uh, that is our story. It was it was quite good. This is actually one of those books that I've been stuck on for a while, but I finally got through it. But yeah, overall, this was a, this is a pretty good fantasy story. I like the thing with the magicians, with the whole entourages and stuff. Uh, the Warriors was pretty nice as well. Uh, I do like Wish. He seems like a fun character. Um, Tsar is uh, definitely interesting. Again with the cars. Definitely interesting. And, uh, and I gotta say, I love the cover here. I love how purple it is. It's really, really is beautiful. I just love this shade. All right, and oh, this video's been long, but I'll show you some of the illustrations. We got these. Okay, so this is Wish, and this is Xar. Check out that hair. 
Oh, and here's some of the uh, fairies. This is Ariel. I really like this drawing of Ariel. I like some of the drawings here more, and some I liked a lot less. So there we are. So yeah, this is, this is a nice series uh, to read. This Calibran. Look at him. Yeah, I'd say this is a nice series if you like fantasy. Oh, look at the wolves. Oh, yeah, he has wolves as well. Oh, yeah, a nice, uh, nice fantasy series. I will uh, be continuing to the... That's Zar, Xar's brother. I will be continuing on with the next book, but we'll see when. I'm not in a hurry to read this one, but I did like it. Oh, there's the magical spoon right there. Um, I one thing I don't, I mean, didn't like, uh, there's the, there's the evil wizard in the stone, and that's a wish. One thing I may have not really liked was that, um, some of the bits of the narration, because it's apparently uh, narrated by a character that we don't know who it is. Yeah, some of those parts are a bit meh. There's Wish's eye. Oh, let me see if I can find that. Uh... Oh, there's a nice one. Sar and his dad having a hug. That's nice. So yeah, if you like fantasy, I would recommend you give this a try or... Uh... If you've read uh, maybe the other books of hers, uh, give this a try. I definitely want to try uh, How to Train Your Dragon, but in English. I'll definitely find that one in English. All right, so that is it, folks. So let me know if you've heard about this one, if you read any of her books. Until next time, bye.